Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is another addition in my low income budget series. Y'all, I'm getting somewhere with my finances. I feel really good about it. So we are moving into week two of September. I will link below the entire low income budget series as well as the direct link to the video from last week. Just a recap on last week, everything worked out fine. And I also ended up making an additional $60 um, from babysitting for an afternoon. It was just a few hours actually. And I put that right into my savings. So I'm kind of going to be doing a savings tracker week by week to see what's going on. So we'll be making that in this video. And then we're going to be moving on to week two, as I said. So let's jump right into that. I have my budget sticker book here. My week two amount is 500. That's what we're going to be working with. And I'm just going to get my little asterisk sticker here. I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to put in week two. And this week I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. Last week I did, I talked about the 60-40 that I was doing. This week I'm doing 70-30. So the 70% of the 500 I believe is 350. So let's separate that so yeah 500 times so yeah that's 350 and then that leaves me over here with 150 so starting off I know that I have my car payment which is 283.58. So then that leaves me with, how much did that leave me with? 66.42. Then from there, I have my, um, from there I have an oil change that I need to get and this might be less but I'm going to factor in 40 for that and then that brings me to 26.42 and then from here I'm going to take 25 for easy pass and that'll last me a little ways because I still have money already on it. So then that's going to leave me with 142, which will just stay in my checking. So those are the three things that are coming out of here. Then for the 150, which is the, um, which is the, um, other part for me to categorize how I want. So I'm going to be doing 20%. I'm going to be doing 20% towards debt. And that's 100 and that's going to be going to my grandma. And then the 50 is going to be... Um, oh, I'll just write in... 10% personal and that is going to be $50 for me so that equals everything out so I will be transferring this to her account I use Zelle 
and then for myself I take out cash now from the $50 I do take out gas money so that's going to leave me with $30 because the gas that I take out is 20 so I'm gonna have $30 to do what I want this weekend I am going to be going to um, the movies um, so that'll be coming out of there and then probably just like food for the day so that might be like 20 bucks or so um, and then I'll have money to last me throughout the week now if I do have any other thing come up I should still be all right though I don't think that I will have anything else come up this is a solid plan so this is week two in a nutshell I already kind of mapped out week three and going forward now if I do end up getting 520 I am just going to mark it off at the 500. If I do end up getting the 520, then I would just leave this as personal and I would use that extra 20 for gas and I would take out the whole 50 cash for myself. So I might be getting 520. We'll see. Um, but that is all for week two. So now let's move on to the savings tracker and then week three I will be giving you guys a check in on how everything is going with that. So um, let me I'm debating on whether I want to do now moving on to the savings tracker i already went ahead and started to set this up a little bit of trial and error along the way i was first doing it across horizontally but then i decided to do it vertically and i'm going to be able to put the total at the end of what i have for that month so i have september october november and december and i did go ahead and make it like a little trifold. So whatever month I'm on, I can flip it this way for just October and so on and so forth. So it's gonna be in my planner as a full sheet, but if I ever want to close it, I can. So I like having that option. And plus the folded line, that crease just gives a little separation to the page. So let's start off with what I'm gonna be using to mark off my weeks. I have these flags here so I'm gonna go ahead and just put those in and I'm starting with the week of I'm starting with the week of um, September actually I think I could put it this way looks a little bit better okay I like that better so I'm actually going to have space to put in the week of, um, to put in four weeks, but this one for September is just going to be three weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that for October, November, and December. So the thing I'm going to put at the bottom, though, I need to pull up the calendar on my phone. The thing I'm going to put at the bottom is from this sheet here, from the budget sticker book. There are these that say you did it. So I'm going to use those to mark off. And I think I actually have the other one. My sister gave me the ones that she wasn't using. So I'm just going to use one, two, three, four. I'm going to use the same color. So then I'm just going to put this and then I may or may not put a sticker here. Um, or I might just put another little piggy bank. I'm not sure. But that is what I'm going to do at the bottom of each one. So let's continue on to October. October because I'm putting the week of the 30th that's one two three four that's five so let's see if I can get five here I may just have to 
not make them so spaced out. We will see. Two, three, four, five. And it has to be five because it has to be five because September is going to roll into this one. So it's five weeks of saving. So I'm just going to reposition some stickers and then I should be able to fit that one. At So that is it for the savings tracker. Here is the finished product. Again, all of these are Happy Planner stickers. And I will have the sticker books below in the description box that I use. And then here is week two of my budget. But that wraps it up for this video. In the comment section, let me know how you guys um, track your savings. I would love to hear how you do that. Do you do a digital? Did you DIY something? Do you have like a poster on your wall? Let me know in the comment section below as well as any other questions or suggestions you may have. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box which will have the links to any um, related videos and products mentioned in this video as well as the link to my blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. If you are not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of my subscribers that are subscribed, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.